raise some brave kids, but this is just scaring me up here. This is really high. Just keep your hands up. I'm doing it! We are a family of five that loves adventure, connecting with people, and trying something new. Six years ago, we got rid of all of our stuff and moved into an RV full-time to give us the freedom to explore the world. So hit that subscribe button and come along on the adventure with us. We only get one life to live, so let's live it up. Ooh-wee, all right. So we are in the beautiful mountains of Colorado. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Everybody keeps saying they want to see a day in the life video, so I want to show them a day in the life. <laughs> the first thing we do when we get up is hit the jam. Got some hard iron, got some muscles Looking going. <laughs> now it's time to just get in the shower, get the sweat off, and get to work. We got a lot of brand stuff we got to do oh, today. Man, we, got we got so much work to do. Let's a go. Lot of, a lot of adventures too. So sometimes when you're having so much fun in these beautiful places, it's hard to get work done because the kids want to do this and that. But you know what? Work has to get done. All right, guys, we're out here in Colorado at the Green Mountain Reservoir Lake. There's a giant reservoir over there that backed up the lake, and uh, yeah, it's about 90 degrees out today. The water temperature seems a little cold, maybe like 70, 65, so I'm gonna fire these things up right here and see what happens. All right, that was pretty cool, man. Keith took off. These things do 35 miles an hour out on the water. That's absolutely crazy. So Keith and his family are a really cool family that we met down in the Florida Keys. And uh, the kids spent quite a bit of time out on the boat wakeboarding. And here we are in Colorado, which is our home state. And we're headed back on the boat to do some more wake surfing. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Surfing, you think you're gonna master pretty good? Yeah. Good job, Nixie! We fell out she got in the pocket. I gotta give Sky some credit here. The water was pretty cold, and once the clouds covered the sun, it felt even colder. After wakeboarding and wake surfing all day, the kiddos wanted to jump off some cliffs. There were two jump spots. One was about 20 feet, the other was about 50 feet, but to me, it looked like it was over 100 feet. But first, we gotta head back to the RV and take care of some business. We are so excited that today's video is sponsored by Nomad Internet. And as you can tell by the location around us, we never want to compromise where we want to go because of limited Wi-Fi. We love to be able to venture out to places like this in the middle of the Colorado Rockies and know that we're still going to be connected and be able to get our work done. Being full-time content creators, we don't have the option of having down days and that's why we absolutely love Nomad Internet. No matter where we've gone in the U.S., we have always had dependable Wi-Fi because without it, we wouldn't be able to experience this type of life. Nomad Internet is so committed to keeping our community connected that they're going to give you $15 off your order. All you have to do is type in the promo code TNS15 when you check out. Make sure to check out our link in the description below. One of the biggest gripes that we hear from travelers, whether you're a weekend warrior or full-timer or just a digital nomad, is that the Wi-Fi is horrendous and that's always the 
biggest struggle. And so Nomad has taken care of that because we've had dependable Wi-Fi everywhere we go. So make sure you stay connected and let's get back to the video. What am I doing? A little different up there, huh? All right, so we're over here at an extreme cliff jump site. We've got a few people up there uh, deciding whether or not they're gonna go. I'm recommended against it, but they wanna do it. I don't like heights, I would never be up there, so. We went here about a half an hour waiting for somebody to commit. Yeah. I'm happy we raised some brave kids, but this is just scaring me up here. This is really high. I'll go. You can go. I mean, okay. do you want to go first? <laughs> Taylor, just, Taylor just doesn't like being in the water. All right. Aspen was the leader, guys. Leader of the pack is Aspen. Oh my god, that's a fall and a half right there. <laughs> I don't know why it's scary with you over here. <laughs> For some reason, I panicked and stopped recording when Sky jumped. I am so sorry, Sky. All right, she just jumped, and I feel like I was gonna have a heart attack once I saw her leave the rock. I was like, oh my God. Now she has that to uh, a little notch in her belt. I'm proud she did it. I'm, I'm glad she did it for herself. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, guys, how was it? How was it? Oh, it was Does that feel good? Oh, it was awesome. That is a crazy yeah. I need shorts. How was it? How'd it feel? That was a crazy adrenaline Was Is that the biggest one you ever done? Yes. How'd it feel? The leader of the pack right here. Whoa, give me five. Did a good job. That was really fun. Oh, man. Yeah. Big wheel in the house. Okay, the girl had to show us how it was done. <laughs> Next day. That was so much yeah. fun. All right, I'm going to have to say these guys definitely tried try something new. new. Good job, guys. I do not have that, uh, that in me anymore. This guy and Ryder headed back up to the top to the lower rock, which is about a 20 foot jump. All right, ride, three, two, one, banzai! I did it, woo! Rider! For me, these are the memories that the kids will hopefully look back on and say, remember that one time in Colorado? And that's why I love making YouTube videos also, because we can look back on these and relive our greatest memories. All right, good job, guys. I definitely say you got uh, way more courage than I do. <laughs> people ask us how we live this travel lifestyle and make money from being on the road full-time. Well, we are full-time content creators, which means we make money from brand deals, social media content, and just being ourselves. And we want you to know that if you wanted to live this kind of lifestyle, you totally can too. So check out the link in the description because we're going to share all of our secrets on how we became full-time content creators. A nomad passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. All right, so I never thought that we would love e-bikes as much as we do, and I have to say, I love e-bikes. Oh, <laughs> All right, so this lady just pulled over to tell us that there's a family of goats that come down the hill here in about an hour and a half, so we might have to come back and uh, see if we can find those. Right. But wow, the distance that you can go, and we got these little seats on the back for the kids, and we have three of them, so one kid will ride one e-bike. Uh, two will hop on the backs of these and we can seriously go like 10 15 miles out yeah. Which we could definitely could not do before we just wrapped up a video in NASCAR and We did 27 miles on these things in NASCAR, which is absolutely crazy yeah. We got about 160 miles on these things so far and I'm telling you I will never go back We got rid of our uh, regular bikes and we are not going back And on this side is all the water. And let's go check out the other side real quick. There's about a 2,000 foot drop off, which kind of sketches me out because I 
don't like heights. <laughs> so you guys can see way down there. And uh, yeah, you can take a little road over here. I mean, how cool is it to be able to be, able to be out exploring and just adventuring on these e-bikes? Look at how amazing this is behind me. To my side. <laughs> So we came through Colorado about 2018. We just drove through, we didn't stop. This time we stopped for about a week and it's been truly a delight to be here. It is, it is, it is raw nature to the max. You feel like you could get hurt at any moment out here. <laughs> That's it. You're getting old when you say things like I that. I guess so. Huh? All right, so this is the road into our super cute little campground. We've been here for a couple days and it's totally dry camping, which means you have no hookups, no sewer, no power, no electric, no water, right? So you have to bring everything in with you and uh, can't wait to show it to you guys. These things always crack me up, but it is real out here, guys. You definitely gotta worry about the bears. I'll show you a bear locker over here if you haven't seen one of those yet. So what we got over here is the RV, and what we got over here is a bear locker. So a bear locker. come over here and let's check out the bear locker. <laughs> Shove your hand all the way up in there, push, and then open. And I guess the bears can't figure out how to get their hands in there because they're not that smart. But you guys want to see inside a bear locker? It's pretty cool. All right, so store all your stuff in there so the bears don't come to your campground and try to make a mess and eat all your stuff. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on guys? Uh, you wanna see it's in the bear box? Robin, what you you. The bear box, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, when I was in there, I'm like, oh god, there's like oil on the ground, there's spiders in there. I'm like, oh wait. Get me out there. Credit, I'm, I'm glad it worked, I'm glad it worked. Alright, I gotta do this. <laughs> Alright, so our friends with the boat, Keith and his family are getting ready to take off right now. This is quite a setup. This is a 40 foot RV. And then you got a super boat back here in the back. I gotta say, that's pretty nice. All right, we had an epic weekend out here in Colorado with our friends and the great ski boats and all the stuff that we did. I would say this weekend, we definitely tried something new. new. Woo! All right, on to the Peace next out, adventure. Out. <laughs> right. Peace out, Peace out. Right. Have a good one. So a little saying that we always say is we don't say goodbye, we say until we meet again. Make sure to check out our next video where we take a wrong turn and drive 24 miles down a dirt road in the RV. We uh, turned down a road following GPS, 24 miles on this uh, dirt road. <laughs> it's gotta be a different way. I don't wanna do 24 miles down a dirt road. And hit up three more states. <laughs>